Billy, we had done some gigs when I was with Zappa. Uh, the Mile Vishnu Orchestra had opened up for Frank Zappa so, for some shows, which was kind of interesting. And I, I was digging what they were doing, you know. And uh, I thought, I really love what Jan Hammer was doing. He was playing the Fender Rose as well. It was interesting because Billy and I started talking, you know, uh, at the Zappa shows. And, and we were saying, you know, if you ever leave Frank, we should get together and form a band. And I said, well, if you ever leave Mile Vishnu Orchestra, I'm down to do that. So that's what happened. You know, we decided, started talking. We mutually decided at this date we're going to depart, form our own thing, and that's what happened. We stayed together for about a year. See, I thought that Fusion in 76, around that area, late 75, was getting a little, uh, a lot of the players were coming in just playing a lot of notes, and it didn't seem like they were playing any music. It was just as fast as they could play, as complicated as the time signatures could get. It seemed like there was the music had gone out of it. And I said, man, we need to bring some, some music back into this thing. So I said, let's try something. Uh, Let's put a little comedy in here, because I talked to, to him about, I'd been with Frank, so Frank had opened me up to comedy, had opened me up to to bringing other forms of music into what I, I, I do and, and increasing my arsenal, musical arsenal, where I could have anything from R&B to doo-wop to rock and roll to classical music to Latin to all this and put all this in this stew. And so that's what I began to do, and I, and I tried to, t I, and I talked Billy into it. I said, man, let me do something. Let's m make this a little funny. Let's bring the humanism back into this music, because if we go over people's heads, we're going to lose. You know, people don't want to understand it. It's just going to be a, an, elect, a, an elect set of people that are going to dig this, and our audience is going to go down. So, and so I wanted to bring the R&B element into, into that, and that's kind of where that started, fusion going a little more the R&B urban route. You know, and the record worked. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. I didn't like the record, to tell you the truth. We did a thing called Live on Tour in Europe in 1976. It came out 77 or something on Atlantic Records. And it's still selling today.